something to shoot. I can't find anything. Okay. Uh, one second. One leaf. All right, guys, we're back on YouTube with the Imperial Multiplayer. Let's play server episode seven. And uh, what was... Oh, uh, Path of Exile. I don't know. It's pretty fun. Um, I actually found a summoner class, so... I don't even think that, they had one. Yeah, yeah, I got, like, a bunch of... I got a bunch of, um... What do you call it? Zombies I can summon, and... I don't know, it's a pretty cool game. I might just be bored with the genre, so... Probably won't play it much, but... Seems very complicated in Diablo 2. That's why I asked. I hate it when I get stunned and attacked by dogs. I can't find my house. Then I rage quit. Then I just watch you. Well, there you go. Need to go watch more KJ48 videos. All right, that's a nice thing. All right, so you owe me two more nice things. Oh, I should probably take a... Nope, don't need a bedroll. I never die. Please, come on. I'm going to take a motorcycle just because they're freaking awesome. I think you're going to have to. There's nothing close to the house to shoot. Well, I could have taken a ship. No, okay. Actually, I might need a home vessel. Yeah, whatever. Nah, I should take a hover. Nah, well, I don't know. I'm so indecisive. I'm going to take a hover vessel. Because this thing can't go over, like, even the smallest hills. What's up, Mel uh, Melantheron? I've just swallowed my own face. That's not good. I don't know how that's possible, but it sounds awful. Uh, play TF2, please? No, thank you. Uh, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Cagecast Live. If I was going to play anything like that, I'd have to play Overwatch anyway. If I played Team Fortress 2, my wife would have a sh would kill me. Because she plays Overwatch now. She loves that game. Yep. Third person, you could uh, adjust third person. You can go in closer if you want. I just like it further away. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. How about if I shoot your punk ass? We used to have so much stuff that wandered around the base that we could shoot, and since we killed it all, it hasn't come well, back. The problem is we made the game before Alpha 3 came out. Um, stuff roams in packs now, so it's um. really easy to get food, but because we started late, like before it, stuff's not going to roam in packs. Um, mm -hmm. On my single player world, I've got more food than I know what to do with. Because I use it to level up. It's just Melly. It's short for Melissa. Okay. Well, welcome, Melissa. This looks like No Man's no man's Planet side. <laughs> it's not really like either game, to be honest. Get a better gun. Well, I, I have a better gun. I just... I use this because I save bullets and I'm only, like, hunting little stupid things. I'm not going to waste good bullets on these things. Making a cave base is the best, Pam. I'm doing it on my single player. It's really? so freaking fun. Is it, did it work out good? Yeah. Well, I'm not really doing it right. Um, when I make my next one, it'll be better. Because I kind of messed it up a little bit. But it's mm -hmm. still coming out really good. Cool. Is not it? Is it hard to make those because of the building yes. mechanics? Yes. No, not because of the building mechanics. It's hard to make them because you have to... Instead of just building things, you have to dig stuff out. It just takes a lot of time. I remember uh, way back in the early days of the game, Dread Pirate used to make cave bases. Remember? The one that he made that was dug into the side of the hill. In what game? In this, in Vimperion. I don't remember. Uh, Kips, you can go to sleep. I'm, uh, I'm going to go as soon as Autumn gets home with the food. So this will be the last video for sure. Go get some rest. We don't need you getting sick again. You've got comics to draw. Jewel is subscribed for four months in a row. Thank you very much, Jewel. Appreciate that. Damn, man. That looks like it would hurt if he hit me. Uh, yeah, you know, Elder Scrolls, when you mentioned why don't you like to play 
uh, survival games with storylines, the first thing I thought of was a Solus Project. Um, the Solus Project, the parts that I played, it's not even really a survival game. I mean, it didn't feel like it. So, yeah, uh, I don't really like, I don't know why I don't like storylines. I don't know, I just, I don't know. I, I can't tell you why. Like, if you watch my my Fallout 4 Let's Play, that's probably the best storyline game I've, Let's Play I've ever done, and even then I was like, sometimes when someone's talking to me, I, my eyes glaze over and I just get bored. I'm like, ugh, I don't care. Some people don't like the fact that with a storyline you're kind of controlled in your gameplay to follow the storyline, and some, some gamers just don't like that. Yes, I did quit uh, Space Engineers before the planets came out. I played it on stream for a couple weeks after the planets came out, and um, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's, it's still laggy, though. It's really laggy and just unoptimized. And the dogs they have come after you on the planets are kind of like... I don't know, they're kind of weak compared to what you have in this game. But I do like Space Engineers, and I, I'm going to get back to it at some point. I've been having a lot of fun with Eden Star, though, so... My game's kind of full. If you stick the meat in the food processor, I'll cook it up. Alright, Psych, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Cage Cast Live. Actually, don't cook it up just yet. Oh, okay. Let's see... If... Uh, we See, we don't have anything. We need to start thinking, like, um... About making stuff like uh, Dino Stew Royal. We need pumpkins and space uh, durians. I know how to yeah. say it now. So, all right. Do we have any durians planted? I don't think we do. I think we need. I don't space. think so. All right. Yeah, you could you could cook this in the, into uh, meat, but I'm gonna okay. start looking for better. Okay. Things. Thanks you. Thank you, Razab. Caleb, oh, did Caleb say something else nice about me? Did I miss it? Oh, he's spamming with his. You got a pumpkin. Okay. You got a pumpkin sprout in there. At least one pumpkin sprout you can plant. You can plant. Uh, Rezab, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Cage Cast Live. Uh, pumpkin. Is it in the? In the food processor at the bottom. Oh. I need to. I need. You need to get up before I can get in. Go ahead. Beastmaster64, thanks for the follow. Welcome to CageCast Live. Um, you know what? We're going to need uh, more fibers because we're going to need more growing plots for this area. Yeah. I don't have any room for it. Shoot. All right. Pick up one of those cobble plants. we got a lot of cobble plants. Yeah. That's going to be really... Well, when you, once you get vehicles, you really don't need a lot of it. We use the cave to make... Uh, we can use that and a couple other things to make adrenaline pills, which are really good. There we go. We got eight salami. Okay. Rust Nautica in space. No, this game is like Space Engineers, but different in little ways, but kind of like Space Engineers. Just, um, I think personally better. Not hating on Space Engineers, I just think it's better. I think it's more developed than Space Engineers. It feels like it. It's only been out for a year. I mean, it's crazy. Is it I guess the question is, have you tried Space Engineers recently to figure out if that's changed at all? Um, I played with, with Fat Planet like six months ago or so. And, um, you know, it was the same. Uh, and people like who have commented on my videos are kind of telling me nothing's really changed with it, but I don't know firsthand. I want to go back to it. I just, I don't have time, you know. I don't have space. Maybe you stream it next time you stream? Maybe. Maybe. It's, it's a thought. That way you could see if it has changed or just what it's like now. Pam, did you eat the, um, the seaweed stuff? Yeah, I did. I was stuck. Okay. I was going to say, because like, I was like, we, I know we had some, and now it's gone. Yeah, I'm so. sorry. That was the last That's little right. bit of food that I don't was need, in there, I don't and I had... We got sausage now. I will be playing Civ 6, yes.
I ate up the snacks. They don't go very far, that's for sure. No, they don't. Fat Master, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Cage Cast Live. Greatest change in this game is food actually stacks. Yeah, right? Yeah, I know. Thank goodness. Got tired of making like 20 refrigerators just to store food. You do earn when I'm not streaming, but um, it's like at a fifth the the points. You get like I think you get five points for every like twenty minutes or a half hour or something in right here. And when I'm not streaming, you get like one point. Uh, depending on like if you're a sub or not, subs get more points. You know, I saw someone do something kind of nice with their points. I think he, maybe you might be interested in. I don't know how you would really work it out, but. Maybe once a month do a giveaway for with points, like a game or something. He just done giveaway for points before. Or like the person with the most points like wins a giveaway or something like that. I keep forgetting about giveaways. Like my next uh, seven days to die video for Alpha Fifteen, Episode One is definitely gonna have a giveaway. Giveaway, yeah. Uh... All right, see you later, Kips. Yeah, we usually do do some kind of seven day to die giveaway at the beginning. We didn't for 14, but I know we did for 13. It's just because I forget. Like, I've got a seven days to die waiting. Uh, Trollolol, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Cagecast Live. How long does it take for this corn to grow? It takes forever. Oh, man. You can make some popcorn with the corn we have, because uh, I already got all the plastic I need. Popcorn? Yeah. Okay. Or corn on the cob or some shit like that. Whatever uh, whatever you can make. Isn't Civ... Doing good, Inquisitor. Isn't Civ 6 coming out soon, I think? End of October, I'm hearing. Are you going to jump on the yes. game? Yes. Okay, you're watching Pocket Mole, uh, Pocket Ninja play with Mad Mole on Twitch. Um, is she playing right now? I thought it was funny their their first episode. She was like, you could tell that the chat was asking, and she was like, "When is Alpha 15 coming out?" And he's like, "Really, <laughs> really? Did you really just ask me that?" <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, that must have been funny. <laughs> Someone had to ask. How was my day night? Uh, it's going pretty good. Got all my YouTube videos up to where they're supposed to be. I think they're good. Got a stream in today. We're going to be recording tonight. I got food on the way. Yeah, it's been good. Hockey Dude, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Keith. Cast life. I found out recently that I'm gonna have to be paying 40% on taxes on my uh, the money I make on YouTube, which I, I wasn't happy about. But other than that, you know. Okay, I made some popcorn. They didn't have corn on the cob, just popcorn. Okay. I watched a little bit on Twitch and got mad that it wasn't KHU you stream with. Well, it was funny because, like, he was like, when Manuel first started playing, he's like, yeah, maybe stream with, like, he streamed with this pocket ninja. And I'm like, first of all, I've never heard of this girl. I'm like, like, how did he meet her? Like, I, I didn't know. And, like, I thought it was also weird that the fun pimps were, like, getting a streamer involved. Like, that seemed very strange. They don't do that. Like, 
they're giving her like alpha 15 access and like letting her play it i thought that was pretty weird and um then i found out it's his it's his like stepdaughter, stepdaughter. so yeah <laughs> that's User why so. your channel. oh is it yeah yeah <laughs> interesting because i looked at her channel because her channel is only like three four hundred sub or followers yeah I, I actually oh, that was all from the first episode yeah, <laughs> yeah. i think she started the channel just uh yeah to play with him yeah I don't know who just joined. Hey, hey guys, how you going? Hey, hey Bish, how are you? Hey, someone just asked, is Bish here? Not too bad. Hey, Bish. You I'm gonna like, be no, able he's... to record with us tonight? No, um, no, I've got to go out with, I'm taking Mummy out for her 70th, so. Ah, ah, you are going out. In about okay. half an hour, so. Tell her I um, said happy birthday. Yeah, thanks, hey, we'll do. Thank you, Viper Man. That special project is nearly there. Oh, cool. It's installed, um, it's running. Uh -huh. There's just one command that's not working. Um, to open the Steam server listening port, the query port for the Steam servers. Mm -hmm. Everything else is working fine except that. Zombie Killer, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Keys Cast Live. That, I, I really hope you get that working, man. I'll be freaking so thrilled with that. We may have to restart Arc Bish. Okay, that's cool. The uh this um this error that we're getting, um, they don't seem to be able to fix it. They seem to say the only way to start it is to do a fresh install. Okay, that's cool. I didn't have that much, so that's cool. Yeah. What I'll do is try to save everybody's levels and everything if I can. Golio Morgan, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Cage Cast Live. Miscellaneous. Yeah, there we go. I can now make large fuel packs. Oh, cool. Oh, I had a question for you, Cage. A very yeah. important question. What's your thought on that new art expansion, the Scorched Dirt? I haven't. I haven't. I don't know anything about it. I haven't like played it or looked at it or anything. Like, it sounded like it was harder to find water or something and new dinosaurs. It's a desert. Like, yeah, it's a desert. It's yeah. twenty it's bucks, so it's plan. a paid DLC, but it's basically a whole new game. I mean, there's so much new things, new dinos, new everything. New dinosaurs is not new. What What else is new? Just everything. I mean, give me specifics. Uh, I'd have to go look that up. It's just basically a new another. It would be that islands. exciting if you don't remember. Well, it's there's not really. a bunch of new features to it. Yeah. I don't know. They, they do up the... Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A paid DLC? That game's an alpha. I know. Yeah. That's everybody's yelling about <laughs> the fact that it's $20 to get that set of that world. Exactly. I mean, it technically is a whole new game, so... It's, a, it's an alpha. No, it's not a whole new game because it's no different from the other game. It just has a couple of it's dinosaurs a, that don't show up in the other world. It doesn't worlds, matter. If, it's got it doesn't matter if it's a whole plan. new game. They didn't finish the first game. <laughs> That's the same reason we didn't like uh, Medieval Engineers. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. There's over 50 new items. New. Every dinosaur that's in Ark, the original one, is not what in this is, game. What is Ark waiting for to get full release? Like, is it like why don't they just release the game? It seems pretty done to me. Right? I guess I they mean, still want to add more to it, maybe. Yeah, and charge for it. <laughs> I don't know that. You know what? If I was if I was a huge and I'm not, everyone knows I'm not a huge fan of Ark. I do like Ark. It's a fun game, but I'm not like oh my god, Ark's like the. I don't you know I don't feel that way, but. Even with that being said, but that with that being said, if if like some other game I loved, if Imperion came out with an update and charged for it, I'd be pissed. But you know what? I'd still I'd still buy it and play it. <laughs> so I'm not like you know I'm not being hypocritical. But man, like dude, finish your freaking game before you start charging more. They've made oodles and oodles of money off that game, man. Like I think it's done. I don't know what more they want to put onto it. Like right? I mean, I think the best way to describe it is a harder version of Ark. <laughs> And it's more like a, just think about a nuclear bomb that went off, and that's what the map looks like. Do I play anything on my own time? Not really. Uh, there is a flamethrower. That sounds pretty cool. When will you stream again? Hopefully Wednesday. What about, what about your own time? You don't have any of your own time. Yeah, right. 
Uh, this is why alphas suck. Elder Scrolls do not lump all alphas into what Ark is doing. That's not fair. This is why greedy alphas suck, you know, or something. Like, it, like I just hate that, like, connotation. Like, because people come on Seven Days to Die and be like, Why isn't Seven Days to Die done yet? This is just a cash grab, like all those other cr cash grabs, you know? No. No, it's not like that. Well, they're not charging for DLCs or anything like that. Yeah, so. yeah, I know. That's, that's what I'm saying. Don't. Just, I know it's... It's splitting hairs, but please just say that's why that alpha sucks. Because they're not all like that. They're Imperion's not, not like that. Not all completed games are great, too. Look at No Man's Skies. That's a completed game, and that sucks big time. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But at least they completed it. I wouldn't call that a completed game, though. Well, I mean, yeah, it's technically, it's com technically it's com it says it's completed. Yeah, they, and now met their, if, they met their goals. If Ark their just head, so. if Ark just said we're com we're completed game, the game's done, it's gold, and then a month later charge for DLC, I'd have nothing to say. Right. You know, but I mean, they've been doing these updates forever, and now they're like they're charging for them. Like they've been doing all like I don't know. Seems I don't know. I, I wasn't gonna play it anyway, so it's irrelevant. But I just don't like that. I just thought I'd ask your opinion on it. Like I said, I don't know anything about it. I can't give you an opinion on it. It could be the most fun thing in the world. It could be nothing. I don't know because I didn't play it, but... My gut reaction is you don't charge for DLC of a game in Alpha. I just went in there and those weren't ready. They must have just become ready as you <laughs> went in there. Darn it. Okay, do you remember when Alpha 8 or 9 came out um, on that change, the block for mining? This looks like, this looks like that's... Okay, do you remember when Alpha 8 or 9 came out that changed the block for mining? It changed it from, you mean, from square to uh, diamond that's shape? What I th and that's that what was I think. like 7, I think. That's it? what I think she's saying, but then she said... This is like that situation all over again, and I don't understand what that means. No, I don't either, because it's not like they charge for it. Don't insult that game. It would be better, but the developers got flooded. Though I admit they should have released it in a development build. I'm thinking you're meaning No Man's Sky. I agree. I mean, they should have released it as an alpha. I think everybody uh, agrees they should have released it as an alpha. I feel, and I, I, I'm probably off base on this, but the feeling I get is that they had this game, and Sony said, "We're going to get behind you. We're going to promote it. It's going to be awesome." And I think Sony changed the development of the game into something they didn't want it to be. Uh, at least that's what I hope it is. I can't imagine a developer studio is going to, like an independent developer studio is going to come in and say, we're going to make this game with our 15 person team and charge $60 for it. Like that, like who does that? Nobody does that. Like, you know, I don't know, you many... know Sony had some pressure on Yeah, that. I don't think, it's exactly what I'm thinking. I don't have any proof. I'm just, it's just a gut feeling. I mean, I... But, yeah, I kind of feel like Sony might have screwed that game up. But how? Because the developer and the publisher are both Hello Games. Yeah, but uh, Sony did a lot of, of yeah, uh, promotion Yeah, Sony did their promotion it. and everything. Maybe, maybe Sony's Sony, name on it. Maybe, like, part of their promotion deal was you got to do what we say. Who knows? I mean, Sony's a big company. They could bully, like, Hello Games. Who's Hello Games, you know? They created pretty much just one game, and that's Joe Danger. Dang. I don't know. I just kind of feel like what other like indie developers done that though. Like I can't think of any games that have been like that. Like all the early all the games we play are early access and cheap, relatively. Right. And then they get into bed with Sony, and then all of a sudden it's a sixty dollar full full 
full release. All right, see, so if they had with, done with, it as a $30 alpha release and then come back six months to a year later even and charge the DLC price for their added um, base building and ship building, nobody would have a problem. But if I've already laid out 60 bucks, I'm not going to want to pay more they, for they base said building. When, and they said when the game first came out, I think it was before, I heard this before the game came out, right before it came out. We are going to add base building at a later time. That sounds like early access stuff to me. To me, yeah. That game had all kinds of bugs, all kinds of issues. That was an early access game. They just, they, 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 they said it was a full release. That doesn't make it a full release. That just means you're saying it's a full release. Calling it a full release just so you can put a full release price tag on yeah. it is not right. And I don't know any uh, indie developers that have done that. I mean, if, if I'm mistaken, someone let me know because... I can't think of any. Not, I mean, I know of indie developers that have released full releases, but they've called them full releases, and they pretty much abandoned them after. And were they the, six? Were they sixty dollars games? You know, Forty dollars yeah, games you know. at the most. Yeah. Yeah, we should get an advanced constructor. It's a good point. We're yeah. gonna save that for the let's play though, because I want to explain to the people, like what it, I guess it just does it faster, right? But still, right. We'll wait for the let's play. Yeah, that should be in the let's play. I'll do something funny to troll game match. Let's see. What time are you? Oh, when uh, Autumn gets home to the food? Because I'm yeah. gonna need a break between now and when well, we start recording. We got about we got about four minutes left on the video. If she's not home when I'm done recording or when I'm done with this video, we'll do a raid and then I'm gonna go either way. Okay. I trolled Game Edge. What did you do? Go look at his name. What'd you do? You don't see the big, the big word to the right? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Okay. Hey, how come the lights went out? Wow, we, we went through a lot of power. We went through all that power, already? Right? Yeah, I had I have all of these going. Yeah, I know. I had checked it just a while ago. I had plenty in there, I thought. Oh, I see. You wrote next to it. I was thinking that was somebody else's cabinet. There we go. That looks better. Oh, are you using right. the large fuel packs or the small ones? Small ones. I, I got large ones now, but... We're gonna use up the small ones first. Yeah. I wonder why things went out. Those won't last. Hey, what's up, long. Skippy? How'd your stream go, man? Yeah, we're just on our multiplayer world, just doing a little bit of grinding. We're trying to get this uh, ship here. Out of the factory, the Explorer M, the Explorer Six MK One. Um, we're getting pretty close. I would, I'd really like to get this going before I go. What are we still missing? Just iron. Just iron. I got more iron. If you need. How much more iron do you need? Well, I'm making the uh, pipes in all the the machines. Do you need me to make something out of this iron? Uh, make pipes. Where are those under what templates? Uh, the like one with all the parts. What's up, Endless Void? <laughs> are you able to color the letters? I swear I've seen colored letters. Um, if you can, I don't know how. That's a good question. I don't see how you could. So how many pipes do you need? All, all of them. Just set up like a hundred. Uh, nah, I can't. If there's a way to color the the words, I don't know how. A 
apply to whole block maybe nope that just does it on all the on all the sides okay do me a favor put the words Canadian so oh okay okay I, I don't know why I didn't think of that oh hockey sucks poutine sucks hit him where they live fit. Yeah, don't go running away too fast, because you're gonna have to. We're gonna have to shut the server down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do poutine. How do you spell poutine? P o u t i n e. P o u i. P u p o u t i n e. T i. Tea. I'm trying to see where I'm gonna put it. Uh, this <laughs> even in my like trolling of Canada, I have to like figure out exactly where this is gonna be. So it's it, it okay. So poutine has an odd number of uh, letters, so you can't put it in the middle because sucks has an even number. So with an exclamation point after sucks, it'd work. Oh, no, yeah. sucks is only uh four. Five oh, letters. five, five, plural. There we go. Yeah, there you go. I thought I was doing my math wrong for a second when you said that. <laughs> um, Rance, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Cagecast Live. I'm glad Kips went to sleep because she would be upset. Oh, Skippy's here. Skippy, yeah, you like Hockey, poutine? Dude. I actually really like hockey. I was just, uh, it was just for trolling purposes. <laughs> now the ass. What color should I do it? It does. Does Canada have a color? What is their thing like? Red and red white or something? White. Red, white, and blue. Okay. I don't think there's blue. Same in here, the US. No. I fucking love poutine. A. <laughs> is it? Just the do it in red. A red maple leaf on top of a white flag. There we go. <laughs> Kips is gonna have a stroke if she sees that. Oh, perfect timing. There's my food. Alright, guys. Oh, we're done on YouTube, by the way. There we go. That's the cut for YouTube. 